This is my 2015 Subaru Legacy. It's a damn fine automobile. As you can probably see through the windshield there, it's equipped with Subaru's EyeSight suite of driver assist and collision avoidance technologies. It's a damn fine technology. EyeSight generally consists of adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, lead vehicle start alert, lane departure warning, lane sway alert, forward pre-collision warning, and forward pre-collision automatic braking. I really like Subaru EyeSight. In fact, I like it so much that I made a version for this. This is a battery-powered child's car. It's not a Power Wheels. Fisher Price didn't make it. But it now has a version of Subaru's EyeSight, where I've implemented a number of EyeSight features. Let's take a closer look. First, we have a distance sensor. Now, real EyeSight has stereo cameras. This doesn't because the stereo cameras that come in a Subaru are much too big and are designed for a much larger car. Those of you who might say, well, Subaru EyeSight is only camera-based, well, you're gonna have to give me a little bit of artistic license here. I'll say the reverse automatic braking feature in 2017 and later legacies is radar-based, so close enough. This is a LiDAR sensor. What makes it Subaru is the use of Subaru displays. To accomplish Subaru's displays, I've taken a combination meter from a 2015 Subaru Legacy and adapted it to this car. I've also added some controls so that the driver can control and turn on and off the system. Let's give it a spin, shall we? So what do the lights and gauges do? Well, since I don't have adaptive cruise control on this, it's technically possible, but I didn't want to do it, I've reused the adaptive cruise control display to show the distance to the nearest target. The bars increase as the distance from the target increases. The miles per hour display has been reused to show the number of feet to the target. The farther away, the higher the number, the closer to the lower. I've also used the gear shift display to indicate whether the car is in drive or reverse. The tachometer simulates a real engine. In a forward gear, it steps through four gears just like a real car would. In reverse, it goes up to about 1300 RPMs because you don't shift gears in reverse. The speedometer is at, powered by a GPS sensor attached to the back of the car. It's in scale miles an hour because, well, this car only goes about five miles an hour and that'd be pretty boring. The fuel gauge has no function at this point. I thought about using it as a battery monitor, but I couldn't control it over the CAN bus and ran out of room in the compartment where all the electronics are, so maybe later. The temperature gauge was going to be used for a motor temperature sensor, but the sensor burned out, so it's just set to center scale. The collision off indicator is also used when the driver pushes the collision off button on the console. This allows the car to get out of circumstances where the car thinks there's something in front of it that it's going to hit, but it's really not. Something like the ground or anything else like that, just like in a real Subaru. Then we have our distance sensor and service port here. The GPS senses speed and sends it into the Raspberry Pi that controls this thing, and that drives the speedometer. The service port just allows me to connect a laptop if I have to tweak it and get it the software without having to take the car apart. I hear you saying to yourself, that doesn't look like a Subaru. Well, originally it wasn't. It's a, a Land Rover Sport, but not anymore. I'm not going to put eyesight on a competitor's car. That would be sacrilege. So, I've added a whole bunch of Subaru logos in place of what the other logos would be there. That other inferior brand. And the steering wheel. And most importantly on the back, where we have Subaru logos. Now, it's an honorary Subaru. Help us test it out. We have our two test subjects, Kyle on the left and Nate on the right, and they're pushing buttons. Nate here is gonna demonstrate the collision avoidance feature. So put it in forward, and Nate, see that garbage can? Crash into it. Go. <laughs> And look, push the gas, obstacle detected. Okay.